kind of wanted to do a quick video to show you the wrap and turn. It's really, really easy to do, and once you see how I do it, you're going to be like, oh, that's what she's talking about. So this is the actual scarf, and you can see the ruffles down the edges, and you can see that there are 10 rows of stitches that just stay real solid all the way down the center of the scarf, and they kind of act like the spine of the scarf. So it basically breaks up into the first 10 stitches are going to have short rows and long rows, and that's where the ruffle is going to come from. Then the next 10 stitches are solid. They always get just a knitted section. And then the last 10, again, are getting that short row piece to them. So, so we get that ruffle. All right. So I am using number two size bamboo double point knitting needles. And I did put a little cap on the end because I get a little paranoid that my stitches are gonna fall right off the end. So put that little cap on there just for safety. And I've done that on both of them. When I get ready to store the project, I just put the two caps on, shove it down into the bag and off I go. I have to ride that long bus back and forth. So. It's an easy commuting project. All right, first things first. I simply come in here and I knit 10. Now, as we all know, everybody holds their yarn differently. Lots of different ways to do this. Um, this is just the way that I have learned how to do it over time. Combination of learning from many people and good YouTube videos. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. It looks like it did something weird right here. I didn't even knit this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I do ten, get to that tenth one, and I take him and I move him over to my right hand needle. Now I did that in a pearl way because um, cause that's the way you want to see it. And then I'm just going to take my yarn and wrap it around that stitch. And then I'm going to move the stitch back over. Does that make sense? Let's do it one more time just so that it all makes sense. Okay, so I'm happily knitting, knitting along and I get 10 stitches on there and I go, oh, it's time to wrap and stitch. So I take that next stitch purl wise and remove it from the left needle to the right needle I bring my working needle around the stitch and then I put the stitch back onto the left needle now I'm gonna flip the entire work see that and I like the wood needles with this particular fiber because they seem to just get stuck in there and I don't have to worry about them falling off. So now my working yarn is actually coming from right behind that stitch that I just moved right over. Can you see that little stitch right in there? So, so now I just knit the whole way back. Easy peasy, right? Knit back. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing with five stitches. And what this does is it doubles up and adds extra fabric for the edges. And that's what gives you that cool ruffly look. Now this particular wool, for whatever reason, I seem to um, try to mistakenly split the wool. So I kind of have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so next one, I go in five, one, two, three, four, five. Pick up my one stitch purlwise. He comes around. Ta da! Flip the whole entire thing. Knit back. Now, this is sort of a, I don't know little cheat way to do this. There are many times when you're knitting you're going to be picking up those wraps because you don't want them to show. Because I'm working on 
a garter stitch project, where those wraps are is perfectly all right. It doesn't matter. But if I didn't want my wraps to show, there, there are other stitches and other designs where I would pick up that wrap. But for now, this is this is why I love this project. It's it's just so quick and easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and knit all the way across the entire 30 stitches. But you can see I split that whoa a couple of times. There we go. So we're just going to go for it here. Kind of like you got to take your time, and then once you get into the rhythm, you're good to go. This is when I have to watch those TV shows where you can't really pay attention to what's going on, but you can hear all the good stuff. And if you're knit to music, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get into the rhythm of the music, and I can uh, I can tell in my projects. Oh, I was listening to some fun, fun music right there. Okay. So I've already passed a couple of those little places where I um, had done the wraps and they just knit like normal, nothing fancy or different. Just knitting away all the way across. And when you get to the end, that counts as one row, everything that we've just done. But I don't really count the rows, I just go until I think it's the right length. And there you go. Now you're going to turn it and do that whole process one more time again until you have something that's nice and long. And I'm going to show you, um, I like to connect it to make it a real neck warmer and then into a scarf. So I hope that helps understand the wrap and the turn that I was talking about. Thanks you guys! Mm -hmm.